The changing weather is getting us in the mood for everything fall. On tonight's Legacy Landmarks, reporter Amy Hogan is taking us back to the beginning of one of the area's longest standing fall traditions, the cider mill. Picking out pumpkins, freshly made donuts, looking how they made like the yeah. cider. A visit to the cider mill is a southern tier tradition spanning generations. I do some of the tours and they do the, the teachers be like, oh yeah, I remember going there as a kid myself. For many of us, it's always been here. And for the Siatoli family, it's been their livelihood for three generations, whether or not that was the original plan. I don't think they expected when they just bought a joint property because they wanted to buy it, that that was going to become their life. That was in the 1930s. Anthony Ciatoli Sr., an entrepreneur, saw the property at 2 Nanticoke Ave as the perfect place to expand his oil business and enter into the lumber industry. It's just a business opportunity. It just so happened Ciatoli's property came with a mill. And at that point, whether he knew it or not, he just got himself a cider business. That would happen in 1942 when Anthony's son Orlando restored the mill to its original purpose, pressing apple cider, something the Ciatolis would become known for until 1971 when fire destroyed the building. Either it was a caramel, when we did caramel candy pot, or it was a candy apple pot that caused the fire. It was something was left on in the kitchen that caused the fire. Gone was the original mill. The family rebuilt a year later opening the doors to the familiar red barn we all know today. We've been here ever since. Now, more than seven decades later, the Ciatolis still own the business, making cider, donuts, and baked goods in pretty much the same way they always have. And that's what makes it interesting. It's you're looking back in time instead of this whole technological world that we all live in now. Year after year, cider mill visitors leave to Nanticoke Ave with a taste from simpler times. In Endicott for Fox 40 News, I'm Amy Hogan.